What's going on y'all, it's the Kid J. Nolan here. Hey man, before we get into anything in this video, make sure that you like and share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get all updates. Hit the post notification bell. All right y'all, let's get into it. Oh man, what do we have here? We got this grown man out here claiming that Jay-Z is his father. Now we've seen this play ran quite a few different times over the course of Jay-Z's career. We've probably had at least three or four different people come out and try to say that they was Jay-Z's son. I don't know what it is about Jay-Z having a son that makes this so appealing for people. I ain't seen too many people come out and say that they were Jay-Z's daughter. It's mostly clout chasing ass dudes that come out and try to pull this play. But let's get into the story, see what his specifics are, and maybe see if there's any credence or reality to this entire situation. All right. So according to the Daily Mail, we're going to definitely cite our source on this because I'm not coming up with this out of my motherfucking head. OK, Daily Mail says a 30 year old man is trying to prove in court that Jay-Z is his daddy. His daddy. Jesus. So much so that he's trying to take it to the Supreme Court. Ramir Satterwhite, that's his real name, has been fighting to prove that Jay-Z, real name Sean Carter, has been his biological father since he was 21 years old. So for the past 19 years, this man has been trying to prove in a losing fight that he's Jay-Z's son. No DNA test, no nothing to prove it. I don't know how he expects to make this a real thing, but... You know what I'm saying? You're never going to get Jay-Z to actually sit down with you, but let's keep it moving. He is asking the Supreme Court to unseal the case and force Jay to take a DNA test. Okay, you answer my question. You think you're going to get this done. He feels that Jay has been abusing, quote unquote, the legal system by not taking the test. And now he wants the Supreme Court to step in and handle it themselves. Ramirez filed a new motion with the New Jersey Supreme Court in February of this year, requesting that the court unseal years worth of documents dating back to 2012 when he first jumped off the porch with this, arguing that the case under wraps had prevented him from getting his due process. The motion was rejected by the Supreme Court because according to the courts, it did not have jurisdiction to reopen matters in the appeals court or to unseal records in trial court. It was then refiled by Ramirez. He was very relentless in not taking no for an answer. It was refiled in the appellate division of the New Jersey Superior Court, which is currently considering this matter. Ramirez told the Daily Mail that he doesn't want anything from the rapper but an acknowledgement of him being his son. He just says, I don't even want your money. I don't want none of your billions. You just gotta claim me. Interesting. He says, this is not gonna be over until justice is served. I just want to live my life. And when it's all said and done, I hope that Jay-Z will want to be a part of my life. If that is God's will, I won't stop fighting for this until I win. I will win because the law is on our side. So according to Rymer and his story and his mama's story, I guess, um, Wanda, that's her name. She had a fling. Well, let's say she allegedly had a fling with Jay-Z back in the day when she was 16 and he was 22. This is getting so much worse as I continue to read. So now we're talking about a statutory situation where a grown man over the age of 21 was dealing with a young woman at the age of 16. I understand in many states the age of consent is 16, but this is now becoming disgusting. By the time Ramir was born, Wanda and Jay had already broken up. How were they broken up if they had a fling? See, a fling is a one-time thing or just something that y'all just swing. You feel me? You can't break up from a relationship if you wasn't in it, but let's keep it going. By then, Jay and Wanda allegedly had broken up by then and decided to put another man's name on the birth certificate, even though she knew he wasn't the father. If this is true, that's where you effed up. For all you ladies out there, y'all be playing these types of games. I'm not saying Jay-Z is really this man's father. I don't have enough evidence. I don't have enough facts to prove that. But there are so many women that play these games with men. You know what I'm saying? They give another man the credit for being a father, even though you know who the real one is. Y'all go out here, y'all run off with your children sometimes, not even giving the man an opportunity to step up to the plate due to your own selfish reasoning or whatever you feel. I know somebody personally that did that and they regretted it. They actually allowed the man to come back into the child's life and have been happy ever since. When I say back into the child's life, I mean just to contribute, not in a relationship. I'm not here to condemn women in any form or fashion. I'm just saying, for those of y'all that like to do things like that, maybe you should rethink. Continue. Ramir didn't try to prove that Jay was his father until 2012 when Wanda's health began to decline. Mm, so basically, you don't, you didn't want anything from Jay, but your mama did. You know what I mean? I'm not going to make no jokes about it because her health was on the, on the outs, but 
That's what you expected. You thought that he was going to come in and maybe, you know, offer some relief for your moms. That makes a little bit of sense. Now, there is a photo comparing and contrasting the two. Uh, this young man does have some very distinguishable qualities that would remind you of a Jay-Z. Now, if you saw this young man out on the street, I don't think you would ever confuse him for Jay or for Jay's son. But when you look at them side by side, uh, you see the eyebrows, you see the eyes, you see the nose, even the lips. Pause. The mouth, I'll say. There definitely are some uncanny resemblances here. I don't know who this young man is. Uh, we've had, like I said, we've had numerous people come out. We've had rappers come out and try to claim Jay-Z was their father. We had people falsely representing a young man that was very dope at rapping. They tried to say Jay-Z was his dad because he had a very similar voice. I don't even know what happened to Homeboy. He got signed to a deal and disappeared. Being that Jay-Z is a billionaire, I'm sure there's more stories than I could even look up of people that are trying to say he's related to them in some form or fashion to get 1% of his ducats. So I don't know what to say about this. At this current moment, like I said, I don't have enough information. Uh, he's got about 10 years worth of trying to fight the course. They continue to throw this shit out. So all I can do is say best wishes to everyone involved. And perhaps you'll get that meeting with Jay-Z. At the end of the day, I guess we do know there's at least one person, Mr. Rymir, that would take dinner with Jay-Z over a million dollars. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Be safe out there. Peace. Beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed the content. Make sure that you're liking and sharing these videos. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so you get all updates for all of my artists. My artist managers, songwriters, producers, etc. If you need a little bit of extra help with your career, man, make sure that you visit PinGameElite.com, okay? That's my website and my community for all upcoming rising music creators. I got two books on there, The Pin Game Portfolio Volume 1 and 2. They're going to give you a lot of insights into the music industry, how to monetize your career, how I make my money off of music because I am a full-time artist outside of doing YouTube videos. If you need some direct help, you can also book a consultation with me on the pin game elite website and i also have a pin game elite membership the free tier gives you access to all of these videos that i post on youtube and a community of people where you can engage but i do have the membership plus okay you could join that for 50 dollars a month or 500 dollars a year and i will actually go in and do all of the grunt work for you if you're not registering your songs on your pros if you're not with song trust or the mlc if all your collection agencies and all of that stuff are not up to par or up to date i will go in there and update all of that for you if you need help uploading your music to a distributor like distrokid united masters etc and you've been making mistakes you've been claiming content id on material that you really don't own hey man stop stealing people's money if you do this stuff the right way you're gonna make it anyway okay you can join the membership plus and again i will do the work for you and you're gonna get a free consultation every month just for joining you're also gonna get the two books for free soon as you join the membership plus all right much love and respect i'll catch y'all later peace